Diamond painting welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before I'm here today to do my small shop showcase for September I have got in the habit the last few months of doing one of these videos once a month towards the end of the month because I have a little bit of a shopping addiction when it comes to diamond painting accessories uh, so I just think it's fun to get them together and show you what I've been buying that month so I've got four separate parcels to go through here and I've done a better job than normal of not going through them I have taken a peek <laughs> at most of them at least um, but I haven't actually used any of them yet I've kept them nice and fresh for you so I've, I've done quite well for once right let's get straight into this what have I got I'm going to start with I think the first thing I bought which is this box here um, if you've seen any of these videos from me before you may recognize this box because this is another pen from Lass and Laveworks who have become one of my absolute favorite pen turners I have got quite a lot of pens from them now um, and this is one that I managed to pick up on the Facebook group on a drop so they have an Etsy shop where I've got most of the pens I've got from them on where they've just uploaded pens just for sale but around once a week or so um Daniel, the guy who runs the shop, also makes a series of blanks and he puts them up and there's usually only 10 for grabs and you just have to comment first um, to get one. And I have actually been successful at that a couple of times recently. It's often very late at night here in the UK and often on a Sunday night, so it doesn't often happen that I'm awake. But there's just been a couple of times recently with it being the holidays and all our bedtimes being skew with um, that I have been up at about one in the morning for it. And this is the first one of those so here it is <laughs> isn't it lovely it's another one with this really nice chunky glitter let me get that in focus and I just loved the two colors in this and the way they blend in the middle I love teal type colors and I think this is like a maybe a bit more green than teal but it sort of reminds me of that and I love purple and I love this chunky glitter um so you if you manage to get a blank you then tell him what shape you want and I had a pen from him a while ago that I've just been desperate to replicate and get more of because it's so so comfy so I asked him to do that shape again and gave him a, a rough idea of measurements I think this one has come out a little closer to what my hand desires than the last attempt because it is a little bit thinner it's still not quite as thin as the original um, so I'll try again next time because it's still a gorgeous pen that I will happily use um, but yeah just not my my dream shape like I'm aiming for because I have small hands so I like quite slim pens but it is absolutely stunning Ooh, <laughs> almost dropped it that'd be good wouldn't it to break it on video <laughs> resin pens if you're not aware can sometimes break if you drop them so do be careful so yes another gorgeous pen for my collection I have wondered about doing a video sometime just to show my pens because I know some people do like that kind of thing so let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would be interested in there we go I'm going to be using that tonight I think with one of my new Diamond Art Club multi places that arrived today they brought out uh, longer ones if you're not aware Diamond Art Club has been bringing out these super thin multi places let me show you one in fact doesn't really belong in this video because they are not a small shop but just to show you they have these places they've brought out some different sizes I was waiting for a 10 tick placer and I'm very excited that these have arrived because I think they're going to make it so much easier to multi place the six places that I have is brilliant because they're just so slim okay so the next thing that I'm going to show you is I think it was in my last video that I showed you a couple of trays I had got from Firefly Diamond Art um, and I may have even mentioned in that video that I had ordered again because I really liked the trays but I hadn't done a very good job of visualizing what the measurements meant so they were true to the size they were advertised at and I just hadn't thought through you know what what size I wanted um, so they came out a little smaller than I was aiming for so I ordered some slightly bigger ones now this 
box must have been on a journey because it took a long, long time to reach me. I actually thought it had got lost. I was in touch with them and they were very responsive. Um, I spoke to a guy via, mes via messenger who gave me an extra way to track it and said, you know, they had insurance. So if it didn't turn up, they would be able to help me, but encouraged me to just wait a little longer. So I did and it turned up. The reason I got worried was because the tracking said that this was at Heathrow on, I think, the 28th of August. And it didn't arrive to me until last week. Um, so like probably took about three weeks or so from that. But that was nothing to do with Firefly Diamond Art. That was all down to good old Royal Mail in the UK, which seems to be having some issues at the moment. So, um, unlike last time when I ordered them to my stack readdress, I actually ordered them directly to me because I always, if I'm using my stack re account, which if you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's a parcel forwarding service that I use to save money when buying from the US. I always have a look at what the US domestic postage is that I need to pay to get it to my Stackery account and then have an estimate based on previous orders of how much it's gonna to cost to add into an, an existing shipment to get it to me. And the shipping to just pay for this to come to me directly wasn't that bad. I can't remember what it was, but I looked at it and thought, I don't think there's gonna be much difference. Um, so I'll just kind of save the space in that shipment as it were. Um, so yeah, it did come directly to me, didn't go entirely to plan as just covered, but it got here in the end and that is the main thing. Oh, sorry about that squeak. Okay, so I have an invoice here. I'll just check there isn't anything interesting on here that I should share. No, it's just a, a basic invoice sharing the details of what I've bought. So some goodies first of all. I've got a lolly and a Zotz orange sweet I assume. This is always fun when I order for the US because obviously you get sweets and things that I just don't have here. <laughs> and a little roll of washi tape. It's pretty. I like that. It's, it's kind of shimmery and metallic. And then I have a couple of stickers and a business card. So there's a thank you for supporting my small business and then a proper business card with their details. So it looks like it must be a family owned business, which is nice. Ooh, and a discount code, awesome. Right, so I got two trays and straight off the bat, they are bigger. I will say when I look at their website, they have so much choice in tray sizes that I end up a little bit confused about what are the differences between them. So if anyone is watching who really gets what they do and what they what the differences are between the trays, do feel free to explain to me um, because I just went for two that looked to be a roughly similar size, which they do indeed seem to be, and just thought I'd give them a go because um, I didn't really want to pay shipping for one tray, so I figured I'll, I'll try a couple, um, but yeah. I don't know what the difference is with these. So let me get it open. And it should say on the bottom based on my last one, which one it is. So yeah, this is a Flint X. And it's got really nice deep sides. So my last tray was like a silken, um, filament and this has more of a matte effect but that's just the, the filament that I chose so that's fine. It does mean there won't be quite a slidey out of here but no problem. It's got a pen hole, it's got the um, little trash drill pot I think that's supposed to be and one of my favourite features as I mentioned last time was the slidey little thing instead of a stopper for the spout. I really like that. So let's get some drills in this baby. Right, I have some round drills here from my current project, so let's have a look at how that goes. They line up nicely. Not sliding down as well, probably because, like I said, it's a little bit matte. That might change a little as it, um, as I've used it, it'll probably get a bit smoother. But look how nicely they're lined up really good actually and I often struggle with rounds 
a lot of my trays just do not deal with rounds as well. And then let me try my little pen holder. Okay. Oh, I like it. <laughs> That's so handy. I do have trinket trays that I use for this kind of thing, but even so, I think that will come in useful. I like it. Right, let's test how easy they are to get out. They're tipping out really nicely. So even though they, they stuck a little bit when I was trying to, oh, there was just one that got a bit stuck at the edge there. So even though when they got a bit stuck when I was trying to tilt them back this way, they slid out really nicely. And what is that? Is that just, yeah. That's a little bit of resin, which could even be from my drills. I don't remember seeing it there before. So I like that one. Great size for me as well. Oops, of course I've spilt a drill. And then let's have a look at the other one. I went for two different shades of pink as well. I like light shades in my drill trays. Um, I've sometimes bought darker shaded trays or rainbow effect trays and that kind of thing. And then I find it quite hard to see a lot of the colors of, of drills that I have. So this one is Ignite and this one came with a lid. I cannot remember if I opted for a lid or if it just came with it as standard. And that one is pretty similar, isn't it? So I wonder what the difference is. There isn't a pen hole, so that's a difference. This is ever so slightly smaller because it, it just stacks slightly in, into the other one. But mostly I would say those are pretty similar. All the same features. But yeah, I really like that color actually. It's, it's like a sort of hot pink, isn't it? What was it? What was the color called? Does it say on my invoice? That was bright pink and the Flintex is pink. So there you go. Anyway, I'm really excited to have these and try these out. I'm gonna be using these this evening because I've been saving them to show you like a good girl. It also says Firefly at the back there, just so you can see the branding. So yeah, I've, I'm really enjoying some of these trays I've picked up recently. There's been some that I've tried that are not for me, and I just go back to my old faithfuls. But these and the, what are they called, Bijou Bliss ones, the ones with the magnets that I've shown you, are really, really good, and I'm glad to have them. Okay, moving on. Since I was looking at trays, I may as well show you another one. This was actually something that I ordered because I did not think the Firefly trays were going to come. Um, so I thought I would try something else instead. And I had a browse of Etsy and I came across a shop I hadn't found before that was in the UK. So I thought I would give their tray a go. Now, what is their name again? I think it was Diamond Pens Forever. And let me see if I've got anything in here. No, no business cards or anything to confirm that, but that's what it says on my notes. And here it is. Oh, another pink one. I didn't even think about that when I chose this. I've got pink trays everywhere. So this is nice packaging. I like that. Um, and let me have a think. How much did this cost? I think it was pretty reasonable. Okay, it cost me £13 total, £10 for the tray, £3 for the shipping. So UK people, let's see how this is, and it could be a good option. I did not notice if they ship internationally or not, so I'll have a look at that. So first impressions, the lid is just a loose fit on top. To be honest, that's fine for me. I don't tend to use the lids when I'm away from my tray. I tend to just put the drills back in the pots. And yeah, it's I'm quite happy having trays without lids at all. If you do rely on lids, then this isn't one you're gonna be able to trust to stay on. It's fairly shallow, which may lead to a little bit of drill loss, but it's a really good size for me and nice and light. That's a lot of, drill space relative to weight. I like this style of stopper. It's a bit like what Mooney Made have. Nice and easy to just pop in. So let's see how this one fares with the drills. I 
trying to be a bit more careful because of the shallower sides. them up the neatest but as I said before I do always struggle with rounds let me see if I can find some squares to try in it because I don't want to be unfair right I've raided another pack of drill storage and found some squares to try so let's have a look how these do much much better okay so if you are a single placer then it doesn't really matter to you how they line up anyway if you're a square user this looks very nice maybe not the best for rounds or at least not rounds of the size that DAC sells but yeah I'm happy with that because I, I work on more squares anyway so whilst it's important to me to have <laughs> round trays as it were trays that handle round drills I do have that already the spout is a little tricky for these narrower pots you might benefit from a funnel but I like it I'll give that a good try later oh I always 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 leave one drill <laughs> or so it feels okay I will try to remember to give this some proper use and then mention it in a whip and chat or something so I can give it a fairer review. And then I have one last thing to look at, which I've been so excited to use. This is something I did have a peek at, um, but I haven't used it. I've got another order here from Love Resin Craft. Um, so I've ordered from Love Resin Crafts before. I've shown two trinket trays on my last two Small Shop Showcase videos. Um, and this one, I think, is my favourite. A little bit of backstory. Claire over at Diamond Painting Nerd, who is a friend of mine, showed that they had this beautiful rainbow one on there. Um, and we had a, a little bit of a joke squabble about who's going to buy it first. Um, she won. <laughs> Only joking. She, she spotted it, so it was hers to buy. Um, but... Love Resin Crafts does customs. So I ordered a custom and said I would like one just like that one that Claire had. When it came to it, she actually did it a little bit differently to make it unique. So I will show you what I have got. And why is this so big? Did I order something else and forget about it? Yes, I did. <laughs> so <laughs> let me remove the packaging. So Love Resin Crafts always sends this nice little pouch with business cards. Ooh. Oops, flinging things around. Business card with contact details, a thank you for your purchase and resin product care. Um, something to, oh, a scratch card. And more stuff about socials. So let's see what's on my scratch card. Ah, it's enjoy 10% off your next order and a code. So I won't show you the code, but that's very cool. I will enjoy using that at some point. Now, on every order I have made from Sam so far, she has included extras. She is very generous like that. And a lolly too, my son will love that. These are his favorites. So on this occasion, I have got a coaster, which is very cool and another sweet little trash pot. I've had one of these from her before in a different colour and I really like these so I'm very happy with that. Now I'll just show you quickly if they're here because I forgot that I'd ordered these as well. This was a set of coasters that I saw that she was selling and let me check what the price was on these because I couldn't believe it. I remember that much. £8.95 including postage for this set of four coasters. They're really decent size for coasters too. You can fit your giant mugs on or anything like that. And I'll just get one out to show you because this isn't that I'm painting related so I won't dwell on it. But how pretty is that? It's really, really nice. 
I'm sure I could put it to use in diamond painting anyway, to be honest. There's another kind of trinket tray or something like that because it's a decent size. But yeah, really happy with those. But the thing that I was wanting to show you is my gorgeous, gorgeous new trinket tray. So, are you ready? <laughs> Here it is. <gasps> <Ta -da! laughs> I love it. So the original one had um, fewer colours. I can't remember exactly how many. It was like five or six. And it was beautiful. But I do love that she took my brief of making one like that but actually just made it a bit unique as well so it was my own so I've got red orange yellow two greens two or three blues and then darker blues and purples and pinks so I've got so much going on in this isn't it gorgeous look how sparkly it is in this light <gasps> this one's going into use I've been saving it and looking forward to using it really cool on both sides as well nice and smooth so there you go it is absolutely gorgeous so do go check out some shop i really rate these um they're just the perfect size for having like your little trash drill pot and your pen and your tweezers you know your key things you're going to use the most often when you're done painting right next to you and kept neat and tidy because of the the rim so yeah go check her out so that is everything I've got to show you today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at these with me. I will be back to do one of these again, I'm sure next month, because I've already got a stack reorder building up. I am a nightmare, someone stop me, but I love it. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys, and I hopefully will see you again soon. Bye bye.